Hello, Altersgate UMC family and friends. Pastor Randy here for this week's devotional thought. We hope that you had a good Labor Day weekend. Uh, we are keeping uh, Terry Phillips in our prayer as she uh, has had a loss in her family. And so we're lifting them up in prayer till she returns. And uh, we do also want to remember that uh, at the end of this week, we, we have the 9-11 Remembrance. And uh, for all those who uh, lost their lives in New York and D.C., and we continue to pray for families and folks who uh, are suffering and struggle with that. And in the midst of all this, we're getting ready to start a new sermon series called The Unusual Ethics of Jesus. And we're going to take some time over the next six weeks, and we're going to focus on some of the things that Jesus talks about in the Sermon on the Mount. And uh, so ethics are really about uh, things we believe and how we act, right and wrong. And uh, so Jesus, does he lower that standard when he talks about the law? And they wonder, did he come to abolish the law? Because there were a number of times that Jesus apparently looked like he broke the law by healing and eating and gathering grain on the Sabbath. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, because I think it's not that Jesus came to abolish the law, but he actually came to lift the law to a higher standard. You'll notice that in the scripture, Jesus often says, you've heard it said, but I say. And then when we get to the end of the chapter, uh, 5, 6, and 7, we see that the people evaluating Jesus' sermon say, wow, he taught with such authority, not like the religious leaders of the law. So let me share with you a passage of scripture that comes out of the Sermon on the Mount from the get-go, right after the Beatitudes. This is what Jesus is encouraging us to do. He says, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trodden underfoot by people. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hid. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a bushel, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. So let your light so shine before people that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. And then we're going to look at some of these key scripture lessons. We're going to talk about how Jesus really did view the law. We're going to talk about how Jesus dealt with hurt and revenge. We're going to talk about how Jesus talks about forgiveness. And then I think also we're going to talk about Jesus and fidelity and what Jesus has to say about lust. So there's going to be a, a lot of uh, thinking for us to do. And hopefully how we read the scripture and interpret the scripture is going to help us in how we behave in our daily Christian lives. Being salt, being light into the world that truly needs some salt and needs some light, the flavoring of Jesus Christ, his grace, his mercy, his compassion and forgiveness so that we can take some of the divisions that we're going through now and find some common ground, common ground on a sure foundation in Jesus Christ. Have a good rest of the week.